Hey guys, Justin Lucas here. And you know, one of the uh, biggest tips I can give you for flipping is uh, tying, you know, braid to a fluorocarbon leader. But I do 50 pound trilene professional grade braid most of the time, sometimes even 30. Um, but I only do a two and a half or three foot leader of 17 or 20 pound uh, trilene 100% fluorocarbon and I leave long tag ends on the knot that way you know it's never gonna slip through itself and if I only have two and a half or three feet and I'm flipping around pitching around that knots never going through the eye it should not go through the eyes of your rod unless you reel the bait up to the tip of your rod and you're moving on to your next spot that's the only time that your knot should be coming through so the braid gives you all the advantages of no stretch better hook penetration more sensitivity and then the fluorocarbon, of course, uh, the visibility factor, how it's nearly invisible under the water. For me, around wooden docks, uh, you know, logs, whatever, any kind of hard cover like that that I'm flipping, uh, I like the fact of, you know, having a line that is invisible under the water and that I feel is going to get me more bites. Uh, I think at the Delta when I won on the last day, flipping the pit boss around wooded pilings and old sunken logs, uh, I did this same exact thing, and I think if I would have flipped straight braid, I wouldn't have caught the same amount of fish. I, I honestly believe that. So, uh, again, you know, it's it's something that I've been doing for the last couple of years. It's made a huge advantage in the landing percentage of the fish that I catch flipping. Anyway, again, it's a crazy Alberto knot, and I will show you how to tie it. Super easy, very strong, and I leave those long tag in so it won't slip through itself. Take a loop of your fluorocarbon. Put the uh, braid through the top of the loop. I always put my finger through the bottom because when you finish this knot, the last move you make is coming back through. So when I pull my finger off the bottom, I know that I'm going through the bottom of the loop back up. So I put it down through the top. I start wrapping over both pieces of fluorocarbon there six times. So two, whoop, three, four, five, six and then right back over itself six more times. Three, four, five, six. Very simple. Take my finger out, go through the bottom, out the top, wet it down. You can say what you want. Been tying it for several years. It is the best knot that you can join two lines together with. And I do not want to cut these ends too close. Like I said, I want to leave longer tag ends and that's about perfect because there is going to be a little bit of stretch. You know, I didn't, I didn't sit here and really pull this one down. I will always, you know, wrap it around my hands and pull it as tight as I can in a tournament. Uh, but you can see even right there, those are the long tag ends I'm talking about. That's just going to allow you to set the hook as hard as you possibly can. With 12 wraps total on the Crazy Alberto, it's stronger than the lines themselves. You know, you're going to break the knot at your bait seven or eight times out of ten over two to three times that, you know, it, it might break at that knot. So. Uh, definitely stronger than the lines and the other knots themselves. Like I said, it's just a tremendous knot to join the two lines together.